All right, so the Shadow Leviathan is one of the many Leviathans in Subnautica Below Zero, one of the biggest ones. I wouldn't say, I, I'd say he's a little bit hyped up. You know, whenever the game was about to come out, the Shadow Leviathan was the one that people were like, oh my gosh, this one's gonna be so scary. Now, the biggest missed opportunity I think they had with the Shadow Leviathan is the legs. So, okay, so you can see, you can see how whenever he gets aggroed, he sticks his legs out like that as he sort of comes after you. So you got the Shadow Leviathan with these extremely long legs, but we can see that it always swims around for some reason the best way they could have like fixed the legs on the shadow leviathan to make it a thousand times scarier is instead of having those legs just be there just to be there if they would have let the shadow leviathan sort of like go on the ground you know because the crystal the crystal caverns here there's a bunch of walls all over the place ceilings there's tons of places for dark creatures to hide and the shadow leviathan as you can see is all black aside from like the little red lights on it on its back and whatnot but if the shadow leviathan was able to use its legs and crawl around maybe like on the floor hide on the walls or on the ceiling it would be a lot scarier because for one you wouldn't you'd have a lot harder time seeing it because you wouldn't be able to see the bottom part the bottom blue part of it because you know you'd only be looking at its backside if it's crawling around you know it looked, it looked just like that like we just saw right there and that would have been a million times cooler if he crawled around instead of swimming around all the time for one another thing about the shadow leviathan is the area that it's in so the crystal caverns and the fabricator caverns like i'm in right now both these areas don't really have much to offer in terms of creatures and again i'm going to be comparing this to the lost river because that's the other end game area so in the lost river we had a ton tons of other creatures aside from just the three ghost leviathans that were in the biome there was warpers river prowlers Warpers, river prowlers, blood crawlers, you know, all those other different types of creatures that were in the cave alongside the ghost leviathans and whatnot sort of helping the biome come together and this one you only get rock punchers which only walk around on the floor so they're not really going to be much of a threat to you and then you got the shadow leviathans so in terms of creatures you're not really going to be running into much in this biome and with the shadow leviathan being the main thing that you're going to be running into and the only thing maybe if you're you know staying away from the floor that's a little bit of an issue so i feel like to fix this and make the shadow leviathan a little bit cooler overall they could have had like a bunch of juvenile shadow leviathans you know significantly smaller than than the big shadow leviathans the adult ones and what they could have done is have the juvenile shadow leviathans sort of like stay they could they're, they'd only be able to crawl like crawl around on the ground hide on the walls and on the ceiling because maybe you know maybe in the lore they aren't like fast enough or they aren't strong enough to pursue and chase like the adults can and swim around so they have to stay on the walls and whatnot to hide from their prey and then like jump out whenever they get close so that's how they would attack you, sort of, and you just have to be paying attention to the walls. And then you'd have the adult ones, as we can see right here. They would still be able, they would still be able to crawl on the walls, but they would also be able to swim, like they're doing right now. But in terms of their crawling speed, their crawling speed would be like a million times faster than the juveniles, and they'd also do maybe like a little bit more. You know, maybe they'd like outmaneuver you, hide around certain rocks, like these big old things or something. They could have had some cool, cool behaviors and whatnot. So the juvenile leviathans would be in. They would have their own little area, own little part of the crystal caverns they wouldn't be in the same area as the adults are because you know they need room to crawl around and hide to jump out of their prey but the areas of the crystal caverns and fabricator caverns that don't have anything in them you know where it's just like completely empty and there's no creatures that's where the juvenile leviathans would spawn at and they would hide on the walls in those areas and wait for you to wait for you or other creatures to come around so they can inevitably attack you if you do get close to them and you're not paying attention on the walls i feel like that would have been like a million times cooler and it'll it, it would have also fixed the issue of the crystal caverns not having that many creatures in it because there's literally there's barely anything in here so you're really just going to be paying attention to the shadow leviathans so why not make them as unique and big of a threat as you possibly can do you all know how in in Subnautica 1, you had the Reaper Leviathan, the Ghost Leviathan, and the Sea Dragon, right? Those are the three main aggressive Leviathans or whatnot. The Reaper and the Ghost Leviathan you can find in some surface biomes, and you can also find the Juvenile Ghost Leviathans in the Lost River. So you can find the Reaper and the Ghost Leviathan all throughout the game, but they're a little, their attacks are a little, uh, I guess generic in nature because you know all they can really do is bite but then when you get to the sea dragon you only find the sea dragon in the super super late game areas unlike all the other leviathans in the game i believe he has the most attacks because he has the swipe that he can do with his hands he has the regular bite attack and then he also has the two variations of the fireball because he can shoot like a single fireball at you and he can also like shoot like a continuous stream of fire at you so he has like four different attacks making him one of the more unique leviathans in the game 
because he only has two areas that you can find him in. So the Shadow Leviathan, you can also find this one only in two areas. And these two areas are also the late game areas of below zero because they're super deep. But the Shadow Leviathan does not have that same uh, uniqueness to him like the sea dragon did in his late game areas which made the sea because that made the sea dragon a lot more memorable because you know a, a fire a fire breathing leviathan you know pretty pretty memorable if you ask me so i feel like they could have again with the whole crawling thing i mentioned and explained i feel like they could have made the shadow leviathan gave it a lot more uniqueness like they gave the sea dragon in the first game and all those attacks are uniquely different from the way the other leviathans attack so yeah, the crawling would have given the Shadow Leviathan, you know, a unique way of attacking that no other Leviathan in the game has. Because it's not like it would have been the first time they would have had a walking creature, because they have the rock punchers in this game. Those also walk around on the seafloor. And if we want to talk about walking creatures that can both swim and walk on the seafloor, we got Crab Squid from Subnautica 1, because those also have, like, super big old legs. But they sw you can see they swim around in the game. They swim around, but then they also sometimes land on the seafloor and they'll just walk around. I feel like they could have done the same thing with the Shadow Leviathan, but it just would have been like a on a much bigger scale. I mean, I know there's only so much they could have done in terms of like programming and whatnot, as far as that whole aspect goes. You know, as far as the crawling thing goes, I feel like that was 100% possible. If you'd like to see me do this with other creatures, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's all I have for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace. And you're grabbing me again. Bro.